So hand saw is a tool uh, that especially used for cut wood. Hand saw also have a lot of type and brand in the world. In this video, I will tell you the process of making uh, the hand saw. First, the machine will make a tooth for the hand saw from steel and it make two cut for each saw tooth. After that, the machine will punch cut the steel into pieces called double blank. Why? Because that's because two saw blade will be made from them. Then uh, they put the double blank into a machine and cut into a shape. Uh, finally, they make the blade more smooth with press the saw blade up again the sand belt so here they are making high end saw blade this method is more time consuming than the other method Again, the sharpen the saw teeth. This method is done by the roller. Move the blade into an electrical coil at the temperature can shoot up until 900 degrees Celsius. Yes, 900 degrees Celsius. Then the blade drop into a bin, and you can see the difference between after and before the process. Next, a camera wheel dunk the blade into a clear protection liquid that makes the blade more shiny as you can see in the video. So lastly, the blade going into a trademark technique which is if you don't know I will say uh, I will tell you what is trademark what is trademark technique. Trademark technique is they put a brand into the blade. So after that the blade must going into infrared oven in 30 seconds before they put the hand saw grip. Why it is old school? Why? It is because before electric machine is done, many people use hand saw to cut wood and to do many other work. So. I have one phrase for hand saw. What is it? Legend never die. Why? Because until now, hand saw is very popular for people to done their work. So, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to Sir Rizal and all the viewers. Before I go further about the hand saw, I want to introduce myself because you must think it. Who are these guys? So, my name is Mama Aikal bin Mahmad. I am from Polytechnic Malaysia and my num and my metric number is 11 DKA 19F1061. So, I will present this video with my friend. So, Farhan is your partner. Okay, thank you Aikal. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon to Sir Rizal and all of the viewers. 
My name is Muhammad Mafahan Mevami Metric number 11 aka 19F1106 So firstly I will tell you how Black Knight started their company In 1919 Samuel Jacob which is a tool maker in Pittsfield MA started a hand saw blade manufacturing with his wife Sarah after fire destroyed their building in 1929, they started to merge with another blade maker. And start from that, Black Knight be a popular company until now. So next, I will tell you about the Great Knight. First, Black Knight company have done many innovation to their tool, especially at their hand saw. I will show you the innovation after this. Red Knight company also have made many variations to their blade because they want make they want to make all the users never bought using their hand saw. <coughs> Lastly, Red Knight also have great popularity in making tools like hand saw because they have involved in this business almost 100 years. Yes, that's a very long. You agree? Like I said, I will show you the innovation, right? So, as you can see in the pictures, Red Neck is using wood for their hand saw grip, which is more, it, which is make it more comfortable for the users. The variation, you can see that their hand saw have many colors of hand grip and size. Who is the girl in the pictures? Do you want to know that? Yeah, the girl in the pictures is the son of Samuel Jacob that continue her father business so guys this is the last slide from me after this my friend will continue it okay so as you can see i will i would like to tell you about the features of great neck handsaw so firstly the size of great neck handsaw is 28.7 times 6.6 times 0.9 inches yes so i would like to say that great neck handsaw have a great size because you can cut many sizes of wood from the small one until the big one. They also have many colors of grip like yellow, chocolate, and the others. It is because Red Knight want to do some some variation to their hand saw like I said before. So, lastly about the shape, Red Knight hand saw is cut. To the same shape with the other hand saw but it is using a different process like you can see from the first video i put in the slide so that's all from me thank you for listening guys okay now i will tell you guys about the characteristic uh, great great neck hand saw firstly it have comfortable grip which it make uh, the users more easier to use it it is because some hand saw have rope grip and hard to use it second great hand saw also use durable material which is make the hand saw can use for a long time and also hard to be become rusty lastly great neck also make the users more easier to use it with a lightweight hand saw it is because the hand saw is not too heavy and is only 1.65 pounds okay as you see at the slide now i will tell what is the value of great neck hand saw first it has lifetime warranty which a great neck warranty that their hand saw can be used as long as it can next great neck also sell their hand saw with cheap price which is only 26.95 US dollar great neck said that their hand saw easy to especially for the beginners because they don't have to use too much energy for cutting wood Lastly, uh, it is very helpful uh, when electric saw machine cannot be used 
because the redneck hand saw can make the works, workers cut the wood as fast as electric saw machine. So this is a last slide from us which is I will compare the grid neck hand saw with Stanley hand saw. First, grid neck hand saw have more bigger size than Stanley hand saw. It also make uh, the users more easier to cut a wood from small until big. Next, grid neck hand saw also more lighter weight from Stanley hand saw because as you see grid neck hand saw only 1.69 pounds than, than Stanley hand saw. Lastly, that make the user like to use grid neck hand saw because it's cheap than Stanley hand saw. So, rich or poor users can buy and use it. So, that's all from us. Uh, is that right, Haikal? Yes, that's right, Farhan. So, lastly, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. And I hope this video will help you guys to find the best hand saw. Thank you.